interrupting Sarah. Well, we have we um, have a subscription um, to Ooh. Tokyo Treat, and it sends us snacks every month. And um, it's at actually at the end of every month. Um, <laughs> and so this is this is some of what we got in the box. This is so. my special tweet because it was my birthday. But the little wallet that I got is upstairs in our room. Um, so let's start trying. All right, let's try this first, okay? All right. In a little package. I'll show me first. Sorry. Here, sorry. This is what it looks like, by the way. <laughs> Here's a little wrap wrapper. It, and it's a little wrapper. It's so cute with the hearts. And the so buildings. this is the description. So it comes with description. So now we know like what it's called and stuff, and what it's gonna taste like. So let me dive it. Okay, it's called Crunchy Panda Z. Z for the Zagu Zagu or Crunch Crunch. Feeling you get, mm, feeling you get like when you eat a mouthful. Pencil. These crunchy chocolate pandas are perfect for everyday oh snacking God, or even a moment of look. indulgence. The recent recipe has a more bitter Here's chocolate one taste, side. so you won't Here's the other experience side. any kind of sweetness overload, and still get your fill. Enjoy. All right, so let's you take one. I'll take one. Great. This might be totally. So gross. this is what they look like. Mm -hmm. It's chocolatey. I think yeah. it'll look really good. This, uh, this is um cooked mm. chocolate. It tastes like chocolate pretzels, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. Mmm. Mm. Oh, more, more. more. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You don't know me, a Coke. Blender is. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I'm going to rate this. Yeah, 10 out of 10, like I said. What about you? Um, Ethan. The Ethan number. If you didn't know, we did this 70s treat level with our um cousin Ethan. And his fit, and he always said six, 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 six. So now we call it the Ethan number. <laughs> so that is this chocolatey panda, the crunchy fantasy, that's what it's called. Um, now we are going to try this little cute carrot thing. It is called the carrot chopped rice cake. These mini rice cakes are a yummy concoction of dried and baked perfection. Crunchy and authentically made in the rare prepared Japanese rice cakes that are light and crunchy this without too much extra like. flavors. Covered in an adorable carrot shaped wrapper, this cute and crunchy snack will make a lasting impression for all. Enjoy! So. These are white. So, I oh, yeah, they're the orange. Me too. Look, they're I'm actually two little white good. things. Mmm! So good! So good. At first, like sweet, they taste ten, like ten, ten, ten. At first, they're like sweet. They taste like um, kettle corn, and then they start tasting like the big popcorn a little bit. Mm -hmm. They're actually pretty good. I'm gonna give it seven. Let's out of 10. try the spicy chips now. Spicy well, chips. You think they're, they're? spicy. I don't think they're spicy. They look like barbecue chips. Mmm. They're not. A little spicy. A tiny, tiny bit spicy. Maybe it's getting bigger. And it, and it gets even more, it gets more spicy and more spicy in the aftertaste. I like it though, a lot. Dad, you would like it. Hey, this, <laughs> hate this, hate this. I give it a one out of ten. It's a little spicy, but I like it a lot. I give it an eight out of ten. Not a 10 because it's I spicy. I give it a 0 out of 10. I thought you said you couldn't give zeros. You told me that in the first video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 1. Sit down. <laughs> All right, now we are going to try this chocolate bar of goodness. It looks amazing. So what it is called is chocolate Monica. Monica I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, my God, there's four slices, one for every... Every member of our family. And um, this traditional candy bar of Japan called the Monica 
with something we can all enjoy for days to come. Relish in these large flowers of crispy and airy vanilla biscuit with a dry puffed chocolate filling on the inside. The exquisite texture is memorable and enjoyable and the flavors are absolutely delicious together. Tastes like a wafer. This tastes like a waffle cone. Exactly like a waffle cone. Wait, this tastes like a waffle, a chocolate ice cream cone. It's the one no. going in the chocolate. The chocolate kind of tastes like, you know, the chocolate inside that dried ice cream mm -hmm. strawberry thing that we tried in the first video. It tastes like the chocolate inside of the cone. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It and I thought I actually I thought this would taste differently. Kind of like like um. We're doing the do. I it thought it, it would it taste it. like um a bread thing. Now we're doing the do it yourself pack. I just got this for my birthday. So I give it an 8 out of 10. These are the things. I have no idea what they are. Mm. Here's a little And this carrot. is mochi. Um, they yeah. look like marshmallows, don't they? Let me read the description. Chocolate flour and green tea flavored mochi. Delicious flour discs and a do-it-yourself kit that allows you to flavor them in any way you like. Enjoy the combination of rich chocolate paired with mochi green tea powder for an experience you'll oh, enjoy by the mounds. Best done by coating each disc with chocolate and rolling through the tasty green tea green um or green tea I mean powder. We hope you love it. Oh my god, this is oh that's the chocolate. <laughs> it's so weird looking. Chocolate like, in a bag. Chocolate in oh there's a lot in there. Yeah. Come on, come out. This is like powder, I guess. Wait, let me see. The... This looks really good, and I cannot wait to try it. So. Oh, this is because I love green tea. Green so. stuff. This is yeah, that's the, the green tea that you roll. It. It's like the powder thing. And here's the little fork thing that you stab into this. <laughs> I'm gonna have another chip in the meantime. Okay. Here are the instructions. Right here. It's in the packet. Oh my god, there's so, so much in here. It says, step one, separate the ingredient, <laughs> ingredients in the tray. And that's what Emma's doing right now. Number two, sprinkle a small amount of water onto the mochi until it becomes slightly wet. So we have to get some water. And then number three, dip the mochi into chocolate and green tea powder. Number four, enjoy. That's what it is. Oh, and also something really cool about this is in Japan, you um, flip books the other way. So this is the front of the book. And then you flip it. So you flip it like this. So this would not be the front. This would be back. That's way too much water. So, <laughs> well, you only do a tiny bit of that. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit. No, not in the. Oh. Oh, Emma. Put in the powder. That's okay. Here, take it. We'll just what? No, put it in the mochi. And then you then you put it in the chocolate and then you put it in the powder. You need help? This is sticky. Yeah. Oh, oh god. Oh I, I, you might need a different one. Here, get that one. Just use your hands or something. I don't know. Right. It's gonna stick into the chocolate. Okay, ready? So the chocolate. Y you don't even need the chocolate, really. It's just gonna stick anyway. It's too sticky. Yes, it won't go on. <laughs> don't, Emma! You just spilled a bunch of the powder. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was already thick. It's on the Look. table now. Oh, oh wow. Okay, my turn. <laughs> okay, ready? It's hard. So hard. Get it on the stick. Let's get it in the thing. So this is it. <laughs> okay, this is mine. It is wet. It looks way better than mine. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Mm. I like that. A lot. Mm. 
Marshmallows. Mm. I rate it six out of ten. The Ethan number. Mm. You? Mm, Ethan number. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you at the end of May. Bye. Bye, Emma. <laughs>